Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation. Right. In this, um, in this video, right, we are going to be creating a, I've just written a few notes here for myself. Right? So we're going to be creating a new Cypress project and then we are going to create a, JC, a package.json file and then we're going to use this package.json file to install cypress okay to install cypress now uh, the, the the new uh, project file the new uh, cypress project file is nothing is nothing other than an empty file right an empty we are calling the project but it's just an empty folder right it's just an empty folder and then within this empty folder we are going to create a package.json file right and we'll talk a little bit more about what is that package.json file and we're going to use that package.json file to install cypress okay so that that's what we're going to do in this video um considering subscribing and giving a thumbs up if this is the sort of thing you're into <laughs> uh, so what is our package.json file right a package.json file is held at the root of every javascript project right so package.json file is very important to javascript projects right it stores uh, it stores all the project metadata and helps uh, manage project dependencies right? so it helps manage project dependencies and then the package.json file as to a JavaScript project, as the pom.xml file as to the Maven project, right? So you use in the Maven Maven projects, you always have the pom pom.xml file, right? Uh, nothing other than page object model file, and this is what is also used in your Maven projects for dependency management and everything else. Likewise. In the JavaScript uh, project, you use package.json file, right? So hopefully that's clear enough. So we're going to jump in now and uh, just follow the, I mean, follow along and try and uh, first of all create our project, our empty folder. Within that empty folder, we are going to uh, uh, create a JSON um, package.json. Um, file and then use that file to um, to install Cypress. One thing we have to talk about is a N NPM, which stands for Node Package Manager. So your Node Package Manager uh, is just like again. Um, for Maven, you have a Maven repository that has all the artifacts and all the dependencies for Maven, right? This NPM is the online repository uh, where you have all the artifacts for your uh, JavaScript projects, right? So all your all your software and project artifacts will be stored well. We're talking about the uh, package addition file again there, but and then we're going to use package.json file to install. Um, you can use package.json file to install Cypress. But all the software developed for JavaScript based projects are stored online, right? In this npm, right? npm. So when you use this npm, like we're going to be using just now, when we, we use this npm in our command, command line, um, in our command line in the terminal uh, it goes away to this repository this npm repository and downloads any software that you just uh, want to download into your uh, javascript based project right so in this project we're going to be downloading we're going to be using a um, package.json file to download um, cypress so once we do that, it's going to go away to the. Let me show you what the. Um, the, the, the um, 
repository looks like. So this is your NPM repository, right? And this is the online, online, um, um, you know, online solution where all the uh, software created for the, your, your JavaScript based projects are held, right? And once you you, you use your package dot um, package dot JSON file to install any software for your JavaScript based projects, once you run that command, this is where it comes and looks for whatever you want to install in your um, um, JavaScript based project, right? So you have to have an internet connection in order, in order to, you know, internet connection has because uh, it's going to be uh, trying to launch this website and get uh, dependencies or software from this website and, uh, um, you know, download it or upload it into your JavaScript, JavaScript based project. Right. So I don't want this video to be too long. So let's go. Let's go to where I have created the empty file. I've called the empty file. So if you go to, if I go to my C drive and I go to users and I go to Owasu because that's what I've called my laptop. And if I go in here, I have got Cypress automation, right? Cypress automation. So what I want to do is actually copy this path, right? And then I'll open my command line. Well, I'll open my, my command prompt, not that, that one. Open my command prompt and launch that. Right, let's close that one. Right. Now within my, within my terminal, I'm going to say, I want to change, change directory and go into the path of the folder I've just created, right, for my new project which is called Cypress Automation, right? So, and then I'll paste that path there. So, hit enter. So I've just changed uh, changed directory uh, on my terminal and I'm pointing to the empty file that I've just created uh, on my system, right? And here, in order to create our package.json file, there is a command we enter, right? So you, you, you remember we talked about NPM, right? NPM, so it is gonna to go to that website to try and get this package, right? So, and it's I-N-I-T, and just hit enter, right? So you know the package was, that folder we created before was empty, right? Now we're trying to create the, um, package to JSON file within that empty folder, right? So hopefully it doesn't take too long. If it does, then I'll have to be uh, pausing this uh, video. Right. So it has done something here. It says uh, MP help end here for different, yeah. So all we have to do, right, it's giving it the package name, which is our package name, Cypress Automation. Um, and all we have to do here is just keep hitting, hitting enter, right? Uh, because just now uh, there's various variables that this file contains, right? And I'm not quite vested in any of the variables yet, right? So in order to create the shell of the shell for now, for the package to this JSON file, we just keep hitting enter, okay? So I'll just keep hitting enter. That's a version number, description. I don't have a description. Maybe later on we'll look into that. Uh, just hit enter again, test command, enter, kit repository, enter, keyword, enter, author. You could put values into this, but I'm, as I say, I don't, I mean, we, we will get down to the, the details of this later, but just now we just want to create a package.json file, right? A license number, just keep it, enter, right? So it's created, you see, it's created a, a JSON file, right? It's created a JSON file. And all you have to do now here is just type yes and click. Right, and it's going back to, to our folder, right? Now, so if we go back into our folder on our system, you see, it's created a package.json file in, within our folder, right? So this is our folder, right? If we nav nav navigate again, users, Owasu, and Cypress, Right, 
So it has created our package.json file, right? So now within our package.json file, we want to use this package.json file to actually install our our um, Cypress, right? So if we go back to our terminal, right? Now all we have to enter is npm, right? Install. So what it's going to do now, right? For the JavaScript based projects, whenever you want to install something, it refers to the package.json file first, right? And now if it sees that the package.json file doesn't have the software that you want to install, it will install it on the package.json file, right? So if you notice here now, right? Nothing about Cypress here, right? But when we say install Cypress, now if you want to save whatever we have installed, we just enter this, right? Uh, hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev, right? This is just a um, syntax that you can pick up, right? And all you have to do now to install Cypress is just hit enter, right? And hopefully this doesn't take too long, right? I have installed Cypress on this machine before, so when you install it for the first time, it, it prompts you and says, uh, it looks like you're installing Cypress for the first time, right? So thumbs up to that. But I don't think it's going to give me that here because um, I have installed Cypress in this machine before, as I see. So there it goes. It's installing. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's take it up a bit. Right, still doing something. <laughs> so I'm not going to pause this. Um, we just have to wait. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you're following along. You're learning some Cypress um, as we go along, and um, hopefully we upskilling yourself as well. And um, there's lots we're going to be doing on this channel. And if you want to be a supporter of the channel, yeah, you could, you know, to keep things going. <laughs> It's time that we all upskill. The world is changing and changing fast. You don't upskill, you get left behind, become irrelevant. <laughs> don't know, right? So it's done something there. Excellent, and that's it done, right? Cypress seven point three point zero is installed in right so it gives us the path right gives us the path where it's installed in right and now if we go into our folder again see it's installed node models right node models now this is what contains all the if you go into the bin folder now this is what contains all the cypress software right that we're going to be using now all we have to do now is remember we we downloaded our uh, Visual Studio code. Now we have to import our folder. This folder we have to import it into our Visual Visual Studio code, right? So uh, all I have to do is open my Visual Studio code. Hopefully this doesn't take too long either. Ah, uh, please don't take too long. <laughs> Come on, don't die on me. I've got an old computer. You better change it. You should easily pause these videos and then come back to them, right? But the software I'm using. Right, here we go. Don't do this. Right, here we go. 
I have I have um, created some a, a folder in here before, so it's it's got a node node project on Cypress in here as well before, right? But I just want to show you. I just want to show you how to uh, create your project, your project Cypress project. Create your um, a package.json file and then install your Cypress. And after doing all of that, import or bring your project folder into the Visual Studio Code so that you can actually start uh, running your, your 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 test cases against your project folder, right? Or or do, or do your automation using Cypress, right? Which we're going to be teaching ourselves, right? So all you have to do now is go into file, go into uh, add folder to work, workspace and all we have to do now is to navigate to the folder where it is on our system, right? So we go to C drive, we go to users, we go to OWASU and we look for Cypress automation and then we just say add. Right, and we just sit back and wait, and that was fast, right? See, that's it added right there, right? That's it added right here. That's it. So if you check out our folder on our system, node package to JSON and package lock JSON, node package lock JSON and package dot JSON, right? And our node hosts all our artifacts, right? In within the bin, that's where our Cypress is, and that's where we're going to be kicking off and running Cypress, right? So that's it for this video. Next video, we will launch Cypress and hopefully go go ahead and write our first test case, right? Looking to uh, teaching myself to write my first test case. That's going to be very interesting, right? So my name is Kevin Owasuitoy. If um, if you got any value out of this video. Uh, please consider subscribing and also give a thumbs up, comment and share ideas or, or, or what to learn next and stuff like that, right? So hopefully this is adding value to, to what you're trying to do as well or, or just encouraging you to do something else, right? So my name is Kevin Owasu I sign out. Bye. Bye.